stuck up a surgery later. I don't know. You're the one that's supposed to be advising me legally. Well, is there anything we can do? It... So you'll know more when they've analysed the blood samples. Well, let me know when you find out. Just, uh, just one minute. She's always let you down again, hasn't she? Yeah, but she did leave a message. Yeah, well, it's not right, expecting you to do her work as well as your own. Well, she was probably out late on that call. You managed to turn up for surgery in the morning. She's taking advantage of you again. Well, she can do, can't she? She's the boss. Yeah, well, not for much longer. Could hardly sleep last night. All her plans rushing round me head. Big step, though, innit? My own practice. Yeah, but if you don't take it... I know. I know. Hey, and don't forget, there's no playgroup today, so you've got Belle for the day. But uh, Mother can look after her, surely? It's about time she earned her keep. She's your daughter. You look after her. Oh, I'm not stopping here all day. You're going to have to, aren't you? Because I'm not having you traipsing Bell round the bookies. Won't be a fortune last time. Our lucky little mascot. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, and if I catch you sniffing round the factory again, I'm going to set Bob on you. Oh, yeah, I'm bobbing it. <laughs> <laughs> have you had a word with him yet about Letitia? His love life's nature too with us. She's getting too attached. I don't want her hurt. He's just having a bit of fun. Oh, like he did with Angie. Huh? Ah, well, that were different. He ruined her life, he did. He tore her family apart. I don't want that happening to Letitia. <sighs> I'll have a word. Right, you promise so, mind you do. Dear our lovey. Bob. Hold that end of that, please. Give us a clue, love. It's all in the location. Location, location. I don't know why I didn't think of this years ago. Now, why is this making me nervous? This place is positively bursting with potential. New kitchen over there, tables and chairs over there. We should be able to pack them in. No. Wh wh whatever it is, no. What are you on about? This is our lounge. Not anymore. This is now Patisserie Vivienne. What? This calf to you, Bob. But we live here. This is where we watch the telly. Well, we can knock the uh, spare rooms through upstairs, put a new kitchen lounge in. Much cosier than down here. You want me to live above a calf stinking a chip fat? We're talking tea rooms, Donna. Not transport calf sandwiches on fancy bread. Gatox, espresso, cappuccinos. This is Emmerdale, love. They think hot milk's sophisticated. That's only because they've got no choice. It's either pie and chips over at the pub or nothing. Anyway. It's about time Diane had a bit of competition, don't you think? <gasps> These are so gorgeous. We could have one either side of the front door. Idiots, pretentious, expensive. Oh, look! There's that water feature, Marlon. Oh, I said it was lovely. Oh, it says the lights go on and off. If I see anything like that today... You'll leave well along with skint. Don't worry. It's beneath what's buying. I'm just going to the garden centres for inspiration. Honest. See you later, babes. Bye. I feel awful leaving you, Ashley. This was supposed to be our week. Go. Enjoy yourself. It'll do you good. I can always put Trisha off. No, it's fine. We'll have this evening together. Yeah. And you'll make some calls, see who we should go to for counselling. You do realise it won't be easy, don't you? I know, I know. Counselling can be tough. You don't always hear what you want to hear. I'm serious, Ashley. Let's not waste any more time, eh? I'll, uh, I'll make it worth your while. No way. Just so I can pick up my winnings. Give me the ticket and I'll pick them up. Not on your bike. <laughs> to tell you what, just keep an eye on her for a minute, eh? I'm busting. <laughs> Mother's in the bathroom. Go on, make it snap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you <laughs> bad daddy, eh? <laughs> uh, the estate agent said there's a few properties that could be suitable. We won't have to move too far away. No, I, I, I'd have to stay local to keep my clients. And that place at Hilltop's for sale. If you can go and see that tomorrow, if you want. Oh, it's beautiful. 
It, it wouldn't be unethical stealing Zoe's business. <laughs> We're stealing nothing. She's not going to like the competition, though, is she? You're telling me she won't. Oh, Paddy, you are a very brave man. Viv, this just... This is in the planning stage, all right? Nothing definite yet. Oh, trade secret, is it? Oh, well, don't worry. It'll be safe with me. Angie, I was just going to stop for some dinner. This is in the post. Divorce has come through. Oh, love, I'm sorry. I knew it was coming. Bit of a shock, though, to see it in black and white. He hasn't wasted much time, has he? Someone had to set the ball rolling. Mm. Are you going to split everything down the middle? Hmm. He gets the haulage money and I get the house. Uh, he's a proud man, is our Sean. Must be embarrassing for him, being kept by his girlfriend. Probably needs a bit of pin money. <laughs> mm. He's going to have to keep up now, he's mixing in such exalted circles. <laughs> it's OK, though. I don't begrudge him. Well, at least you don't have to worry about losing the roof over your head. Hmm. It's a lovely house, family home. It's going to be hard to leave it. Leave? Why? Len, we got any idea how much the mortgage is on that place? No, we can afford it. Not now I'm on my own. Mm. Thought I'd show you what you were missing. Mm. Mm. Should get back. <sighs> Just a bit longer. I've got work to do. I can think of something much more interesting. <laughs> can you get the afternoon off? What, and you'll take me out like you promised? Hey, Are you? Stop distracting my workforce! Go on, then. Sweet out the boss. You are paid to work, Letitia. You inflame lover boy in your own time. You only brought me some painkillers. I mean, not feeling too well. So you decided to turn up then? Thanks for covering for me. Yeah, again. What are you playing at, Zoe? If you had any idea what I had to deal with this morning. Well, it's just not good enough though, is it? You let me down. You ring me on my night off. Did you enjoy yourself last night? Not bad, thanks. I'm glad. Apologies for interrupting. Oh, stop. You were on call and I was on my night off. I had quite an interesting evening too. Most of it spent in Hotton Police Station. That was after I was arrested and charged with driving under the influence of alcohol. Thank you for that, Paddy. <laughs> I wasn't drunk. I had a couple of glasses of wine at home and a brandy with the owner. I told the police it was just a wine. Still enough to take you over the limit, though. Yeah, it was only borderline. My solicitor's getting blood samples tested independently and we're waiting for the results. This is a chance that I might have a case. So it, you know you shouldn't drink when you're on call. Yeah, yeah, and you sound like the police. I got a full lecture before they threw me into the cell. They treated me like a criminal. I just... I, I can't believe you'd be so unprofessional. You shouldn't even go near an animal if you've had a drink. Have you any idea how much that horse is worth? I was perfectly fit to practice. It was the brandy that sent me over. But why even risk it if you've had a drink? Why even get into a car? Because if I remember correctly, Paddy, you didn't exactly leave me with a choice. So, where are we going? Hang on a minute. Oh, Mum's got Kirk all day, so it doesn't matter when we're back. So what's come up? The money's come through from my house in Liverpool. Full asking price. You could buy somewhere up here. Well, I thought I'd ask Angie if I could buy into the house. You know, it'd bring the mortgage down. She's really struggling now she's on her own. That's very generous. Ah, uh, the problem is she's so touchy about money. I'm not sure whether she took it the wrong way. No wonder she called you last night. I oh, can't help feeling guilty. Well, there's no need. She would on call it were her responsibility. Well, perhaps I shouldn't have taken the night off. It wasn't your fault. 
There's no excuse for drinking and driving. She could have killed someone. I can't... It, it is so unlike her. I, I, that's what I can't understand. So you didn't tell her? What do you think? Eh? Look, I'll be as quick as I can. You are not leaving me on me own, not with her. Do you need him courting? Yeah, sort of. Not for much longer. Come on, just for an hour. I just got to see a bloke about summer. Well, you Black said we we're going out. I've got the afternoon off work. Look, I'll be back in an hour tops, I promise. Look, then Zach will be back there. and we'll be out of here. Lose control. I can't leave our Belle alone with her, can I? Like animals. Eh? Where she is. Go on then, but straight there and straight back. I owe you. If you're going to fornicate, do it outside. Shall I, um, put the kettle on? How's your chin rummy? You've got to stop her. Now, you know the direct approach doesn't work with your mother. You're too scared of her to do anything, you mean? No, we use psychology. Play the waiting game. <sighs> She'll make you do all the work, you know. I don't think so. She'll make you wear a hairnet and a little pinny and take orders. One lump or two, Mrs Blackstock. I over my dead body. <laughs> I can't see her breaking her nail extensions doing the washing up. Look, she'll need planning permission alone. That's before she's even thought about the food. You know what your mother's like in the kitchen department? She ended up being put in prison for poisoning people. <laughs> exactly. Now, trust me, she hasn't thought this through. Once she realised how much work's involved, this cafe... <laughs> history. That's good. It's not looking good, then. I'm in court tomorrow. My solicitor's going to do her best, but... The blood test confirms that I was fractionally over, so she's pretty certain I'm going to be banned. Then what? I'll get a driver. But what about nights? I'll arrange cover. Which will cost you. Exactly. Cost me, not you. Oh, well, there's nothing to worry about, then, is there? Everything's tickety-flipping-boo, isn't it? I was wrong to call you last night. And I was... I was wrong to blame you for my arrest. I'm sorry. All right, thank you. This mess is going to be tricky in the short term, but I'll sort it out. Well, listen, but well, why don't we get another vet on board? I'm sure Rona would love to come back. There's no need to panic yet. We'll just see how we go. But in the meantime, I'm going to need your full support. So if you have a problem with that, you should tell me now. One hundred percent, as ever. You can rely on me. I was hoping you'd say that. Paddy. I don't know what I'd do without you. No, it, it, it's an investment, not a handout. I don't want to feel they're beholden to me. Should be a fool not to take you up on it. Yeah, well... I don't want to upset Angie. I don't want to make her feel that I'm trying to buy their affection. But I'm trying to make up for what I was shown. Don't, you know. Well, so be straight with her. Tell her what you've just told me. I mean, you want to invest in her and the kids. How could you possibly object to that? <sighs> I don't know. See ya. See ya. Careful there, boys. I bet you didn't get muscles like that making daisy chains. I'll tell you what, Bernice, I never knew a garden said it could be so fascinating. Trisha. Straight back on the van, lads. They're not staying. Oh, oh, but they're so lovely, Marlon. Please. Please tell me I'm hallucinating because, because if I'm not, then you have bought all this rubbish and we can't afford it. I better get home. Oh, should I send the boys over with your stuff that you bought for the vicarage garden this afternoon? My stuff. Oh, of course, my stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I thought. For an horrible moment, I thought Trisha had gone overboard. <laughs> oh, I'm such an impulse buyer, Marlon. Ashley's going to be so surprised. Oh. And she bought so much stuff that the garden centre let us have these. Dirt cheap, practically for nothing. So, can we keep the trees? Please, 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 Marlon. Go on, then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said the aces were high. Only the red ones. That's 20p, you owe me, I think. 
<laughs> Where's that? I haven't seen him. I left him here this morning looking after Belle. Where is he? Well, he went out door this morning the moment I got my big toe into the bath. And I thought you were supposed to have gone off sick. Yeah, well, I felt better once I'd got home. Oh, now to do a cane, we're at this mystery illness. He pulled wool over her eyes good and proper. Well, where is Kane? He said he had got an urgent job to do and he couldn't take Belle. And <laughs> she believed him, poor lass. Hey, so hang on a minute, let me get this straight. I left Belle with Zach, who left her with Kane, who left her oh, with... Oh, he shouldn't belong. He said he'd want to take a minute. <laughs> Feckless and irresponsible, just like his dad. They're all the same, these dingle fellas. Liars and shirkers to a man. And you, making out you were sick. Bob, we're dead worried. Oh, don't tell him, please. <laughs> Where have you, you been? been? Up to no good. Never one at a time, ladies. You have been hours. You said you'd be straight back. I got held up. You've been drinking. Thank you. I might have stopped off for a quick one. Oh, you swine! What's up with her? I know what you're thinking. I brought all this on myself. I'm not here to judge. Oh, I feel so ashamed. I know I've no right to spare any sympathy. Oh, you're fallible, Zoe. Don't be so hard on yourself. You've got problems enough of your own. <laughs> Actually, there's been a bit of a breakthrough. Benice and I are going to try counselling. It's encouraging. It's a good opportunity to thrash out everything. Really get to grips with our problems. Are you sure that's going to help? Would you just excuse me for a moment? <laughs> so the wanderer returns, eh? Oh, is she your home, Ellie? Get inside! <laughs> I'll give you a lift if you're ready. Right, give us five minutes. I'll be with you. I've been thinking about the house. Yeah, me too. I've had a busy day. Been on the phone talking to the solicitors and the building society. What about? Sorting out all the legal stuff. Sooner the house in my name, sooner we can get it on the market. Well, there's no rush. Surely. Oh, well, it might be months before I get a buyer for the place. I don't need to come to that. A move is the best thing for all of us, Len. There's too many unhappy memories in that house. Well, I still think you ought to take your time, look into your options. Len, I have done my sums. We can't afford to stay. Um, what about approaching Mark and Ali? Here, I haven't told him yet. I'm going to choose one moment. Well, I still think you're rushing headlong Everything into it. Everything happens for a reason, Len. A move is probably what I need right now. A new start, new life for all of us. <clears throat> You didn't say you were going out. Where have you been? Hutton. Do you leave anything out for tea? Well, Bob can get us a takeaway. Oh, and bring us a bottle of wine from the shop, Donna. More? Don't argue. Not in the mood. How much on the box tonight? Fancy going over the road later? You'll have to go on your own. Not to me eyes. Viv Hope turning down a drink? What's so important? Planning permission application for my cafe. I want to get a few things down on paper to show the architect. Architect? You haven't got an architect. And the sooner he gets his act together, the sooner I can put my planning application in. Planning application? That's what I said. I told you she'd do it. Nice one, Bob. And then the bank need a business plan, and I've got two kitchens to sort, building project colour schemes, and that's before I've even started on the menu. Chuck us a pen, Donna. So you mustn't breathe a word to Marlon. You want me to lie? Well, it's only a very little, very white lie. Oh, um, I made some inquiries this afternoon. We have our first counselling session next week. Oh. There's no pressure. I can't postpone. No, we should go. We don't have to rush into this if you don't want to. Look, we've got to start somewhere, haven't we? <sighs> well, we'll have to put our plans on hold just until we get through this. And then what? There will always be some crisis or other with her. Well, I can't leave it to cop on her own, can I? I know you can't, and I want you to do the decent thing, but it's really hard to forget about a dream just like that. We only have to wait for a, a little bit longer. I'm, I'm disappointed too, you know. It seems to me like she's doing it again. She's controlling her lives, whether we like it or not. You can't blame Zoe. Oh, I'm trying hard not to, but 
She's gone and ruined everything. It's a sorry state of affairs when I can't trust either of you. Hey, don't have a go at me. He's dropped me right in it. Trust a dingle man more fool you. Strangers in our house looking after our little girl. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I told you I couldn't stay here with her. Dingle men, great useless lumps, the lot of them. Oh, Belle's all right, isn't she? So there's no harm done. That is not the point. I left her with Zack. You cannot just pass her around like a bag of washing. It was you who told me I couldn't take her to book it. Oh, I've had enough of this. And have you had a word with him yet? I was just about to. Oh, I am worn out. I work full time. I cannot run this family single handed. I need your support. Support from a dingle lad. Get more support in my liberty bodies. Oh, shut your mouth, will you? A sling your hook. That is no way to speak to your mother. No. What did I ever do to deserve such an idle lummox of a son? I took you in, didn't I? You miserable old sow. Only on suffering. She made it crystal clear that I'm a burden to you. Millstone around my neck, more Enough, like. Enough, Zach. You always were a pathetic little runt. Knew you'd never amount to anything. Yeah. Like mother, like son, eh? It's your pride, man. You can't support your own. Can't be a woman. Lord knows how you managed to hang on to her for so long. It can't be for your prowess in the bedroom. You bitter lordsome old cow. I hate you, mother! Not as much as I hate you, son! Hate you? You don't even come close! I hate you that badly, I can't think straight! I hate you so much! I wish you were dead!